Hi, this is Will Rice from the Rio Texas Annual Conference Media Center with a quick video on how to schedule your own Zoom meeting. Uh, for this video, I'm going to assume that you already have a Zoom account and that you already have the Zoom software downloaded to your uh, PC or Mac. You can also do this very easily on your iPhone, on your iPad, or your Android device, but today we're just going to cover what it looks like on your desktop. All right, first thing you need to do is open that Zoom software, however uh, you get to it on your computer. I'm opening it right there. It's uh, right here. Sometimes if you haven't signed in yet, it's going to ask you to sign into your account. Mine is uh, signed in at this time. And I am going to just hit the schedule button right there, okay? You get to name your uh, meeting. Uh, this is just going to be Will Rice's Zoom meeting. Uh, you can schedule it by clicking here. I'm going to schedule one for Monday uh, at, let's say, uh, 9 uh, a.m. And there we go. Uh, the duration won't limit the length of your meeting. It just gives people an idea of how long you expect to meet. Uh, the time zone is in our uh, central time there. Um, I can set up a recurring meeting if I want to. I don't want to. Uh, you may not see this box. I have the permissions to schedule meetings for other people, but I'm scheduling this meeting for myself. Uh, right here, the uh, video, uh, I want that to turn on automatically for the host and participant because I like to see people's faces. Audio options, I always want to check both. That way people can use the built-in audio on their computer or they can phone in uh, simply for the phone call or they can also use the uh, video on their computer and the audio on their phone if they're having trouble with their computer audio. Your meeting options, I don't require meeting passwords. You don't have to either. Uh, I always click enable join before host. Uh, that uh, means if I'm running a little bit late, people can get started without me. I don't usually use the personal meeting uh, ID. It's better to generate a new one for each meeting, in my opinion. And then uh, right here, the calendar. Yours might look different if you're on a different platform than me. I can have this set up the meeting time in IK on uh, Google Calendar or uh, other calendars. I'm going to select other calendars for a moment so it looks more uh, maybe like what it'll look like for you. And then I'm going to click Schedule. And there it is, okay? This is everything you need uh, to send out an email to let your participants know when uh, your meeting will be. Uh, it'll tell you, tell them that you're inviting them to a meeting when the meeting is, uh, and then it will give them the link. Uh, they can click on this link in their email and it will open up Zoom. It'll invite them to download it if they don't have it already, or it'll just link them to the meeting uh, if they do. It'll also give them phone numbers that they can call into if they're unable to join by computer or unable to uh, join uh, by their computer's audio. So here's what I'll do. I will just copy this to my clipboard and I will uh, open up uh, an email and I will send that email to whoever I want to come to the meeting. Uh, meeting info. I'll paste that in there and there we go. I'm set to do a Zoom meeting. I can use that same link uh, right there to go to the meeting or on my own account I can go down here, go to upcoming meetings and then when I'm ready to start that meeting I can just click the start button and we'll be ready to go. All right, hope that helps. Let us know if you have any questions. You can reach me at wrice at riotexas.org.